What's up everybody, it's your buddy Cruising Motor here today and I'm doing an oil change on the FZ07. These, I love this freaking bike because it is so freaking simple to do a damn oil change on this thing. It's literally right there and there. It's all you gotta do. Well, I use the Mobile One 10W40 Resin Faux T up in my shiznizzle. Got the K&N Performance Filter. If you guys want to know which one it is for k and it's the 204 for your FZ07s. Okay. You're going to need, obviously, your 17 millimeter freaking socket to take off the fucking dingleberry down there. One of the things I do is I undo the freaking oil cap over here. I do that so it kind of makes everything flow out nice and easy like I'm saying. So I do that. Go ahead and get this here situated. If we can get that up on the boat. Come on now. Get up on there. Oh yeah, nice and... Get it off on there. Freaking end it. And. Blammo! Yeah, get the nut out of there before it gets everywhere. But blam! So, that's it. Pretty much let that sucker drain and then take off the filter. We'll get back to that here in a second as soon as this is done leaking its shit everywhere. Fucking pissing all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Relieving itself of its main vein and then uh catch you guys here in a few minutes peace all right guys so we're back and it's done freaking spittling its little spittle all over the fucking place leaking its shit everywhere right so what we're gonna do now is that being oh so careful we're gonna undo the filter should just be hand tight shouldn't have to bust out a wrench or nothing it's moving i see it moving because all you gotta do is put these bitches hand tight Come on now. Come on, Betsy. Keep going. It's turning now. Yeah, look at that. See? Just put that bitch on their hand tight so it fucking comes off and let that fucking shit leak its freaking jizz all over the place. And then, uh, just unscrew that bad boy out. Dump out the last little bits. And then, bam. You got your fucking oil filter up there. Keep that big arch off to the side because you're going to take off the new one. You're going to put that bitch on there. Put that bitch into the box and this one, motherfucker. And then we'll be good. Yeah, let this drain off a little bit. Then you're going to wipe up your, the cum shad up off its face and everything like that. So that way it's all nice and clean for when you put on the new stuff. It is doing all right, it is. Drip de drip, drip drip. Drippity drip. A little windy out today. Not bad though. It's not bad. Went a little bit of did a little bit of riding. Got some bugs on the shit. You guys see the bugs. Little fucking dead carcasses everywhere. Alright, let's see. Wipe it up, give it a little good a little clean up. Look at see how much more drippage we're gonna have after that. I think I burnt my finger a little bit freaking taking off that damn filter fucking shit just rode the bike over because of course you got to heat up the bike a little bit before you freaking do these things so all the oil freaking comes out all nice like get all of it out of there all the the sediments and stuff that you might have up in their engine but uh yeah i think we're i think we're good now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put this for your fucking cock freaking ring back inside and stuff if I can fucking turn it on and then uh, we're gonna tighten that fucking fucker down on it and stuff so it's all nice and tight oh that could probably help if I fucking turn it to where it goes the right way right there we go there we go uh, and you don't have to put it on super crazy tight just put a little bit of your freaking man strength into it Get it on there all nice like. Yeah, just get a little bit more. Alright, then you're gonna go ahead and take your dang old freaking new air, air filter here. You know what I'm saying? K and N. I was actually fucking retarded. I was supposed to get the Fram because that's what I normally use because I hate these fucking K and N filters, but I guess I'll use one this time. I freaking didn't realize I went and spent $16 on this motherfucker when I normally spend $5 for the other shit. So I fucked up right there. But K and N's good though. You know, it's not bad. I always take, dip my fucking finger in the juices, throw a little bit freaking onto the ring on here so you can make that, make that seal that it lacks and needs, right? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this biatch onto there. So I can, mm, come on. Uh, first, it probably helps I got it in the hole, huh? Let me see here. Come on. Get on there, there you go. That's a good filter. Right, wipe it up. All nice like, I can get it all hand tight. That's all you need. Let's get it on there, because it's gonna create its own seal. So that's pretty much it for the dang old freaking, dang old fucking, uh, motherfucking old change up in this bitch. Fucking, so we'll switch away from that and we'll freaking get over to where we're putting the fucking, the juices back into the motor, all right? Be right back. All right, ladies and gents, we are back. We're gonna put the fucking, the liquid juice back into the fucking motorcycle. And we're just gonna go ahead and just ease it all up in there. I think this bike takes, just almost three. It's like three and a half. That's like two and a half fucking quarts of oil. And then it's all good and lubed up for your riding pleasure. Nope, get back up on there. You ain't going nowhere, you motherfucker. Better stay. But yeah, so two and a half motherfucking quarts of his oil is what you're going to put up in this motherfucker. All right. Again, actually, I think it's that. Or it's three and a three and a quarter or something we'll find out we check the levels you know what i'm saying it's got that awesome little window that's down to bat him. but definitely go ahead and throw two up in there right away so i'll go ahead and be back because my steps aren't coming out here trying to fucking ruin the video so i'll be back all right guys once you guys get about two and uh two and a quarter you know of these things in there two quarter two and a quarter quarts of oil in the bike Go ahead and start that bad boy up to let it fill up the filter and everything and then you can turn it off after like a minute and then uh, check it again and see where your level's at through that little window at the bottom. So that should be good enough right there if you're gonna let it run. And then you're gonna let it chill for a second. Go ahead and take the, the kids that back up off the fucking back. So I can get your dang old oil ready. So you know what I'm saying? Because you might have to put a little bit more up in there. Gonna go ahead and check the dang old level down here in the fucking window, the peep show window. Yep, definitely a little bit more oil in here. Again, give a little bit more lubrication. Because you know what the bug's looking like. Go ahead and fucking give it like another half a quart or a quarter of a quart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't mind me. Tilt the back up oh so nicely. Let's see what this bag is sitting. Right now. You know what? I think I don't got enough up in here. So I think we're good. So that's gonna conclude our oil change on the Yamaha FZ07. We're gonna hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And uh, as always, this is your boy, Cruiser Moto. And you all know what the saying is for at the end of the videos. And it's gonna be love, peace, and the chicken grease. Peace out. Back, back, back from the dead.